Good morning. Today's lesson is 7.3. Today I'll be writing algebraic expressions. Our essential question, how do you write an algebraic expression to represent a situation? An algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase that includes at least one variable. A variable is a letter or symbol that stands for one or more numbers. X being the variable plus 10. There's my variable Y. This is 3 times Y. There's my variable A. So we have 3 times and then in our parentheses we have A plus 4. Math ideas. There are several ways to show multiplication with a variable. Each expression below represents 3 times the y. So you can have 3 with the multiplication sign y, or the 3 next to the y means to multiply it, or you can have the y in the parentheses next to it, or 3 with a dot. But all of these means 3 times the y. Let's unlock the problem. An artist charges $5 for each person in a cartoon drawing. Write an algebraic expression for the cost in dollars for the drawing that includes p people. P being the variable. So write an algebraic expression for the cost. So you're going to think the cost for each person was $5 times the number of people, which is the P. So the cost in dollars is 5P. Remember, you can write that a few different ways. You can do 5 times P, 5 dot P. Remember all the different ways that they had up at the very beginning. Okay, try this. On Mondays, a bakery adds two extra muffins for free with every muffin order. Write an algebraic expression for the number of muff muffins customers will receive on Mondays when they order M muffins, right? M for muffins. So think, the muffins orders, remember it was two extra muffins, right? Or the muffins order is going to be M, and it was plus the extra muffins on Monday, which was two. So the customers will re receive M plus two. Example 1. The table at the right shows the number of points that items on the quiz are worth. Write the algebraic expression for the quiz score of a student who gets M, multiple choice items, and S, short answer items correct. So multiple choice, you're going to write an M for that, and short answer is an S. So 2 and 5, right? So points for the multiple choice items is going to be 2 times M, because there's my 2, and we're making that be an M, plus the points for the short answer which was 5, right? So it's going to be 5 times S. So the student's quiz score is 2M plus 5S. Okay, so write an algebraic expression for the word expression. 30 more than a product of 4 and X. Remember, product means multiplication. So you're going to start with the product of 4 and X. Then find 30 more than that product. So the product of 4 and X is going to be oops, 4 times X, right? Or 4X. And then 30 more is going to be 30 plus that 4x. The next one asks, 4 times the sum of x and 30. So start with the sum of x and 30, <clears throat> and then find 4 times that sum. So x and 30 is x plus 30, and then 4 times that is going to be 4 times x plus 30. When you write an algebraic expression with two operations, how can you show the operation, which operation to do first? Remember, we did this yesterday, or on Friday actually. So put the parentheses around the operation that should be done first, because that can help you. Next, it says, one student wrote 4 plus x for the word expression, 4 more than x. Another student wrote x plus 4 for the same expression. Are both students correct and justify your answer? Yes. You can add, you can add numbers in any order, and the sum will be the same. So 4 plus x is going to be the same as x plus 4. You can also do that with multiplication. You cannot, however, do that with division or subtraction. It does matter which order they're in. Okay, so write an algebraic expression for the product 6 and p. What operation does the word product indicate? And as I said before, that indicates multiplication. So it's going to be 6 times p or 6p or any of the variations that we had earlier on. Write an algebraic expression for the word, um, so we have 11 more than e. Well, more than means add, so we're going to have 11 plus e. On this one, this one's a little bit trickier, we have 9 less than the quotient of n and 5. So the quotient of n and 5 is going to be a division problem. So we're going to put n divided by 5, and then 9 less is subtracting. So we're going to have in, uh, parentheses n divided by 5 minus 9. All right, the rest is on your own. You can work with a partner, and I'm always there for you. Good luck.